how long are we gonna sit in this prison? When will this clown let us out? Well, 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 how is it hanging? And here is your breakfast for you. Enjoy some chocolate here. Get some money with your friends. <laughs> okay, you guys, I understand that you haven't eaten it for two days. Easy. Take it easy. There you go. Here, I have the smallest a Milky Way bar. Uh, Mr. Clown Magard, uh, can you check if our subscribers managed to collect 100 likes? We're the one to get out of here. Good question. Well, plus, I'm trying to check. Let me get my phone. Whoa, they actually did it. 100,000 likes. Oh, I'm letting you off then. Hold on for a sec. The sun is open now. So we could have been freed earlier. No, not like that. Subscribers, thank you so much for 100,000 likes. Undo the first part because when did these clowns put us in here? They said that when the first part gets 100,000 likes on this video, then they would let us out of here. Yes, you again, 100,000 likes. You liked the last part 100,000 times so we can go home. Guys, what kind of clowns are these? Other clowns actually warned us back then. And then maybe my friends will come and play this game with you again. <laughs> Apparently, this is the second part of Extreme Hide and Seek in boxes with these clowns, you guys. Look, there's an astronaut clown and some kind of dog. We also want to play with you. Explain the rules and let's go, go, go. Guys, I really hope that you remembered the rules. Here we just have a bunch of large boxes and there are three clowns who will be trying to catch all of us. Each clown has his own way to look for the participants, but each clown has 10 attempts. So let's quickly hide in these boxes and do it well to make sure they won't find us. Uh, I think that the brightest idea would be to hide closer to the door. So I will hide in this box right here, guys. Wish me luck, everybody. And bye. You guys, by the way, if you manage to get 100,000 likes under this video just like that, then we will make sure to shoot more videos just for you with clowns and hide and seek challenge just maybe inside a supermarket that's been locked for 24 hours. Okay, everybody, come on. While we were in prison, I've been thinking about some interesting hiding spots where these clowns won't ever find me, actually, for sure. So, the first one is... Come on, come on, I'll show you now. This box right here, I'll flip it over and lean it against the wall. I'll do this and I'll be able to run from out the box to another because it's so convenient and you can still see where the clown is. That's why I'm hiding here today. How about hiding in the very center? Because if I hide in a prominent place, they will never find me. Well, I'll test this life hack. Let's try it out. Oh, uh. So, I'm going to find you all. I have a secret weapon. My loyal dog. <laughs> You guys, this clown brought his dog with him. I release her now and take some rest here. <laughs> Damn, that's not fair. The dog won't find us all. <laughs> Damn, I can hear this dog running from one box to another! I think they found me! It looks like the dog has already found someone out there! I'll have a quick bit while my dog is on the hunt. <laughs> I think she's gone. It's okay, guys. I'm good here. Hey, did you eat my sandwich? Whatever, let's start searching. <laughs> Look, come on. Start, 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 start. You guys, this dog is coming right at me. And I got into the red box because it's too visible from the outside. What if the red color attracts the dog's attention? 
you guys, how about we do this? Please change the color of my box. This is very easy to do. You just need to go below the video and make the red subscribe button turn gray like this. And then the color of my box will change. And the dog won't be able to find me at all. Right, let's count together. Five, four, three. Three, two, click the red button. One. Oh, the color has changed now. Thank you so much, you guys. Let's go. They're right here, right here. There's someone here. I found you. What? There's no one here. Okay, sorry. Uh, what? Right here? Are you sure? They're here, right? You sure about that? No one here. How come? What have you done? Why can't my dog find any of you? Well, never mind. I have another secret technique. <laughs> Here's my another special technique. It's a shark. <laughs> this clown no longer has his dock around, and perhaps he will not be able to find all of us. This is my favorite shark. Wherever I go, I take the shark with me. Well, by the way, with this shark, he has even more chances. At least he won't run away like that dog. All right, let's go. Find them all, shall we? Just in case, guys, I'm inside the green box. I'm absolutely sure that I'll find somebody today. <laughs> What's that? Is someone here? I think it's my intuition who had worked after all. Let's check it out. Does he have a real shark in his hands? Ah, nobody here? I must have misheard you, shark. This is the first and last time, you guys, that I take such a narrow box. It is literally impossible to sit in here. Why were you saying? Next one? So where is he here? The green one over there? <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Knock, 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 I found you, I found you. <laughs> knock, 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 I found you. Dear subscribers, I told you about the green box, not this clown. How does he know? <laughs> How does he know? My shark is sure that you are here. I was just Bruno, I found you. No! <laughs> this clown has caught Bruno now. Let's go, let's go. Guys, I let's lost. Let's go. Come on in, I'm not getting out of here now. <laughs> it's getting awfully hot inside of this box. William Bruno has just been caught. What's wrong with your head, clown? I'm all right. <laughs> I'm a veterinarian. We really have to get out of this box if I get caught if I stay. Damn, guys, it's so unpleasant to lose. It was the first round and they found me first. No way, how can one be such a loser? Oh, so my phone is nearly dead. Gotta carry that power bank with me all the time. Yeah, my shark, I told you, it won't fail me. You guys, I managed to hide inside. I'll find you now. What are you saying? The farthest one? Yeah, yellow one. Are you sure? Let's see, let's see. Are you sure? <laughs> Right behind me. I think I'm done for. Let's see. Ah! Nobody here. Are you sure? Why did you bring me here? I think I know why. Someone was here and moved to another box. I'm 100% sure of it. <laughs> but it's not fair. I'll find you. Where are you? Ah, maybe you moved to this yellow box here. Ah. Probably quite smart, as it turns out. <laughs> this one. Let's take a look. It's mine. What do we have here? Ah. Let's see. What do we have Something's here? I found, found you. <laughs> Can we see? <laughs> I think I found <laughs> you. I'm really lucky, you guys, that I have a big box, and if he starts lifting it from one side, then I can slip away, you guys, out of here. Have they found you too? Yeah, well, at least you weren't the first to be found. I told you, my shark, and we'll catch everyone. 
Guys, it's a dog! I was also blown away when I realized that this clown looks like a dog! It seems that my shark doesn't always work fine, but whatever, we just haven't been training for a long time! <laughs> what? The same color as you? Or the sea? Let's see, this one? <laughs> Peekaboo, who is there? Empty! How could this happen? <laughs> Empty! How could this happen empty? Okay, that's fine. Don't let me down. There are two more times left. Guys, if you want even more videos with clowns and hide and seek, then drop 50,000 comments under this video and we will shoot the third part of hide and seek in boxes with clowns. What are you saying? Red one? Which one? Big or small? Oh, big one. That one other there, is that right? Who oh, do we have here? What were you saying? Has someone been here? It's where Alina was hiding. Where could he be now? Come on, we have one more time left. We need to find him. Go straight here, right? Where to? I don't understand you. This one? Are you sure? Well, let's take a look. It's empty here. Oh, it's I empty here. I thought Arishnev was there. There's no one again. I was my last attempt. He ran out of attempts. Yeah. How do you like that? Got it now. <laughs> oh. oh man. Hey, Savage, what's wrong? You guys, in this round, the clown managed to find Bruno and Safik only. Alina and I made it. <laughs> and the clown didn't find us. Therefore, the game goes on now. And you, you go away. You get that? My shark found me. He's gone, Savage. Which box should I pick? This one is too big, but it's probably comfy to hide in it. But I think that this clown will be opening big boxes only since this clown is big himself. So I decided to pick this yellow box near this yellow wall here. So I'm sure he won't notice it and will pass by. Have you ever seen an astronaut clown? Gotta pick a box to hide in. Last time I hid inside this one and I want to say that it is as uncomfortable as it can possibly get. I couldn't fit in there. But at the same time, large boxes are also not good. And this tall one is exactly what we need. I wouldn't pick a red one because we know that it's really attractive, you know what I mean? And I would choose this one right here. First of all, if you look from this side, it is as narrow as the red one. But here, look, there is so much space in this big box right here. Okay. Uh, uh. Well, it's way more comfortable here, of course. All right, guys. Right now, I know which box I'm going to choose for myself. Whoop. Ah. This one, guys, the yellow one. You know why? Because the watch navigated me to this box. This dude right here says we need to hide inside of it. My tactics are very simple. So we're going to jump into the box number, well, number yellow. Guys, there's not much time, so I'm hiding right here. Hello, guys. I'm Astronaut Clown. Oh, no, guys. An astronaut clown? And what? Is he going to be shooting missiles at us? I've been to the moon three times and also to Mars 14 times. No way, to Mars also. I'm sure the victory will be mine today. And I'll find these pranksters and put them in jail. You guys, look what I took with me to the box. I used this duct tape on my phone so I won't be making any unnecessary noise. I have some special tactics, kids. I brought a blaster with me today that I took from the planet Mars. With the help of this blaster, I will be searching. I will prove to you that my tactics are the best. <laughs> Damn, he looks like an experienced clown. To show with this blaster, you need to wear a helmet. Otherwise, the blow will be too strong. <laughs> I wonder if this box is empty or not. I want to check it. I can't believe it. Something is not right! Ah! Ah! I have a small crack here. Look! I can see right through this thing. Who is it? I wish I found you, friends! We'll go to the prison alongside the bar! Wait, 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 no, no, no! no, no, no wait. Don't be afraid! There you are! Oh, I wish you'd stop! Ah! 
guys, just before my eyes, this astronaut clown stole Arshnip. Now Arshnip will be put in jail. <laughs> I told you that my blaster works. <laughs> I will choose a new box and shoot it with a blaster. I hope it won't be my box. <laughs> blaster says there's no one here. <laughs> Two boxes failed, turns out they're b -b -b both empty! Wow, he's got some kind of high-tech blaster out there! He can definitely defeat us with it! I'm very attracted to the red color today! Shall we check it? <laughs> Boom! Interesting empty blaster trick me! It doesn't happen often! Oh well, that's nothing! I still have as many as six attempts! You guys, I have no idea how this clown astronaut could even catch me so easily, I think. He may find everybody with this blaster of his, so be careful out there, you guys. Be really careful, okay? Damn, Archie wasn't too lucky. After all, you fell into the hands of this astronaut clown. But that's fine. There are still plenty of us. There are three more of us. And this clown is all alone. Ha <laughs> ha! is where he bubba belongs. There are three more of you left. I think I can easily handle this task! Woo I can hear Alina, she's right over there! Where are you, my dear kids? Hiding, aren't you? Do you think you can escape from my puppet blaster? I'm coming after you! The blaster gives me a signal! He seems to have detected someone in the vicinity! Woohoo! We should try shooting! Woohoo! Ah! The blaster says there is someone sitting in here! right here behind the wall. Let's check it out, my dear. Alina has been found. Ah! Who do we have here with us? Oh, let's go, let's go. I tried, I really oh, tried. Two already, two in total, you see? Another scan high. Why do you and I always get caught together? It's always you who gets caught, and you catch everyone usually, but me, I'm not that. Now the only hope is on William Bruno and Sophic. One, two, three, four. William Bruno will never be caught. I know where he's hiding. I'm glad that Alina believes in me. I hope that you also believe in my victory. He's farting so hard I can't even hear it. And others can't hide from me. Ha <laughs> ha! Where is Sephi? One, two, three, four, and William Bruno! Tell me, b -b -b blaster No, 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 just don't ask this blaster. It knows everything. Woohoo! The blaster is dead. But never mind. I have a super helmet that was with me since Mars. It has a bunch of sensors, infrared, and echolocators that recognize any vibrations. I'm going to put it on, and then we'll see the sea. Woohoo! Clown is some kind of cheater, or I don't know. With such technologies, he won't find us in no time, really. Oh, dear. oh This b -b -b box looks interesting. It's worth checking. Whoa, there's no one here. His helmet failed him. This means that it doesn't always detect victims. There's no one here, but I liked it. I want to try to get again. Let's start! Now, guys, let's try to escape from his sensor somehow. We'll do it in the very old, but a very effective way. Woohoo! That's We're it, guys. Right over here. I'm now hidden from these radio beams underneath my jacket, because the jacket blocks radio beams such as these. So, moving forward, he shouldn't notice me at all. Let's run over there! Damn, what the hell is he doing there? Completely out of your mind, you nearly killed us with that box. Guys, this clown is really crazy. <laughs> I mean, completely. I don't get it. He could have broken these bars in this box, then we would have escaped from this prison here, and then we could hide again. Guys, it's not clear where this clown astronaut was. Maybe he even got infected with some kind of alien virus. Add this to the pressure in outer space. <laughs> it's okay. I have three more attempts. I took off my shirt. <laughs> I hope this helmet doesn't work as it should. But 
I can't sit in this box any longer because it's super hot in here, even in this. Let's check the yellow color. It used to be my favorite. <laughs> what is he doing? No! Games. We got almost everyone. Now, with such technologies, it's totally unfair. They help him so much. <laughs> right already. You guys, I am shocked. Only Willy and Bruno is left in there. And this clown astronaut has found everyone. Guys, really, I shouldn't have taken off my jacket because it was blocking all those radio beams. As soon as I took it off, he found me right away. William Bruno, cover your face with a hoodie, please. My hoodie? Got it. Savik said that this hoodie will be blocking all the radio waves that this astronaut emits, and I will have a chance to play fair. He won't be able to use his helmet, so I'll hide my face behind this hoodie. Whoa! I've already got three people! Yes, I'm the leader of this game! Other class will never catch up with me! Woo! Let's try checking the red one! It's tall, just like William Bubba Bruno! Do you want a hint? Guys, please don't give him hints. Willie Bruno is inside a box that's like Earth there. Alina, why are you helping this clown? Ah, oh, planet Earth is blue because it consists of water, almost 70% of it. I'm an astronaut, I've been there, so I know you can fool me. I thought the Earth is green. Uh, I'm in a green box after all. So we need to find a blue box. Woohoo, it's far, far away. Well, never mind, we'll get to it! having another round soon. The new clown has not appeared yet, but we have something to offer him. All right, now it's my turn to see. Oops, why did you hide? I don't get it. You know what? Why are we always hiding, huh? Yeah. yeah! We were hiding from you, you stupid clowns, for the second time. Are you even brave enough to hide from us? You probably don't even know how to hide at all. You can only seek. And how about you try to hide? <laughs> Wait a minute, what are you talking about? We also know how to hide. If we hide now, you won't ever find us. Wanna give it a try? Okay, let's do it. Okay, come on. I just don't really know. Where have all of the other clowns go, you know? Are they just gone? There were three of you. And who says they are gone, huh? All right. Aren't we hiding or what? Okay, but we are counting. One, two... Maybe you guys should get out of here. Uh... <laughs> yeah, thanks, cameraman. Okay, we'll count right here behind the door. We count to 100. That's it, guys. Let's hide fast. Yeah. And hide well so they won't find us. Oh, my favorite color is yellow, so you never found me. I'm gonna hide here. Which is a good place. I'll show everyone how to hide properly. I'll oh, hide here. They will immediately think that I would never hide. Lots of friends. <laughs> ah, so guys, I use this box because it's big and comfortable. Here we go. What a convenient box. <laughs> That's it. I'm hidden. <laughs> you guys, we have a plan now. Once we find these clowns and then we will put them in the jail and then we will tie them up really nice. That way we'll be able to run away from them really easily. Yeah? Yeah! Yeah, guys. Yeah! yeah. Guys. Well, let's go to it then. Come on. One, two, run! Whoa. Let's go. 
You guys, to make this all fair for us, we will all have 10 attempts then, but in total, meaning our attempts are all shared. Otherwise, with 40 attempts, we will have found them all. Let's look now. Did you hear that? They're already here. Bruno, come on, you go first. Okay, guys, we have 10 attempts in total. I personally have three attempts. Well, two and a half. So I'll take my chances to find as many clowns as possible. I heard that one of the clowns talking around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh damn! Ugh. Guys, minus one attempt and zero clowns found. But you know there's some good news. There are only three clowns left. Okay, let's try another box. Hey! Hey! Who's there? Astronaut or security guard? Or a dog. Hey. There's no one here. Okay. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Go on. Go get in. I was tied up. Oh no, Prince and Prince help. Let me take the lead now, you guys. Do you think that this is a box? I think it's empty. There's gold ah, right here. She's a witch, I think. And what about this one? The sounds of nature say open it. All right. Ugh. Well, is there any way in there? Is it an empty? Yeah, but not here. Damn it, Alina. You said that there was someone in there, but there was no one here at all. So you're opening it, not me. Why am I even helping you here? Maybe it's more interesting for me to open myself. Guys, Alina is fooling me. I'm going to do it myself then now. Come on. Let's pick another one. Another one? Nah, I mean, whichever you want. I'd pick another one. Again. Guys, this is an empty box! Just lie his head! We've already spent four attempts! So where are your friends hiding then? I don't know, kid! They're so smart they hide well! I'd like you! <laughs> Alright, I'll get someone else to have the lead! Guys, today I had a dream and I saw two colors to fill! Red and blue! And let's try to pick the first one, the blue. I don't know if there is anyone here, but if I were you, I'd run away already! Whoop. Empty. I'm not lucky this time, but I think that the clown will be under the next box for sure. Come on, Sappy, huh? do you hear that? That's where the heartbeat is. Beat. The Harvey, yes. Yeah. Sappy, help me lift this box. All right, right now? On the count of two, two. Okay. <gasps> My intuition has let me down, Suffolk. Your last hope. Alone? Oh. Four attempts, Suffolk. Four attempts. Come on, come on, come on. So, guys, I picked this box because my watch is pointing right at this box right here. Do you want me to open this one? Oh, yeah. Not the one. They found sure me. Yeah, this box right here. Are you sure that there is someone inside that box right there? I'm sure there's someone inside of this box. Or maybe not really. Okay, then let's listen in. <gasps> Dang, I can't hear anything. Yeah, Suffolk, I'm telling you, there is no one in there. Well, all right. Whoop. Uh, aha! Oh, not that. Here you are. We found you. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to jail. <laughs> oh, my, what you do? You didn't hide no, me. Away. I had the best box. They must have had some kind of box. It's like it's the oh. Show them your hands now. I'll tie you up. There you go. Did they tie your hands? Yes, yeah, same as you. How are we going to get out of here? I don't know what to do now. Is it nice to sit <laughs> in a cage? No, it's totally unpleasant. Why am I sitting here? You, I'm supposed to guard this cage. Yeah, well, now you know that it's not very pleasant to sit here. Yeah. Quite unpleasant. Okay, guys, we absolutely need to find the next clown. And I already know which box he is sitting in. But how many no, attempts do we have three. to find Yeah. Three. Guys, now I'm going to knock down this red box with a secret blow. And the clown will immediately fall down here and now. Check this out. Oh! Ooh. Hey, clown! It looks like he must have escaped somehow. He's gone. We need to check another box. Let's pretend that we are the clowns and try to lure out the last clown guy. I'm a clown. So I think it probably is not going to help them. Let's just pick a random box over there. Well, Here, for okay. example, either this one or this one. 
guys, what kind of box would you choose? Blue one or a blue one or this one? Let's shake them then. Well? Come out, come out! You guys, for some reason, it seems to me that there is definitely someone inside this box here. Yes, 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 boys, we got him! We got it! Here we go! Oh, guys! Come on! Oh, I'm helping you! We got that dog! Go back, you guys! We got you! Hello everyone, Jinx, your friends. I just this with you, and this will be the third part of the hot and cold pool challenge. We had a hot pool and, of course, a cold one. We've read in the comments, and you wrote under the last two parts that it's unfair that only Safik is not sitting in the pool and just gives us these like punishments. So Safik will sit in a cold pool today, and Artyom is gonna sit in the hot one. Oh, and today I will monitor everything so that everybody plays fair and as always my name is William Bruno hello let me tell you what's new we've got here today first our hot pool is now covered with this tape and there's a reason for it this is to ensure that the water temperature does not drop one degree we also have four boilers that maintain the temperature of this pool this heater goes here and the second one and this hose keeps filling this pool with boiling water and Safik will have this pool with an insanely cold sub-zero temperature water and we have some nitrogen just you wait lots of nitrogen this water inside a glass has the temperature of minus 70 degrees celsius and i will show you how it works look here's nitrogen here's a cold pool whoa and now it's even colder! This is the steam from the cold, and here Safik will sit throughout the whole video! And I will also remind you that I have tried to sit in each of these pools, but in my opinion, it's much more difficult to sit in the cold one. And also, guys, we have this Wheel of Fortune, which decides the fate of our participants. And I think we can begin. Alright, now our participants shall climb into their pools. Safik goes first. Thanks for making me go first. Oh man, oh guys, you say you added the nitrogen in there? I checked the temperature before all that and somehow it seems warmer. It's like pure ice now. Oh, 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 okay. When I hosted this show, I didn't know that it was this cold in here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Crap, this water is so freaking cold. Oh, oh, ah, no, 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 no. No, why'd you do that? There is already liquid nitrogen. This is just the beginning. Artyom, now it's your turn to get into this boiling hot pool. Let's go. I wanted to tell you something. Here's the thing. Now, when a per new person is subscribed to my channel, the light in my room changes completely, you guys. I spent a lot of time programming, setting up a router, connecting it all to the LEDs in my room. And now each time you press the subscribe button, the color in my room changes. Now, for example, Let's say that the room had a blue light. So I'm lying on the couch, editing a brand new video, and the light just turns red. If you want to drive me crazy and keep my room in this flickering manner, then just click on the red subscribe button. Oh, guys, yes, this is even steam in here right now. In this third part, the water in each pool goes even crazier. Our tomb has so much steam in there. Too bad it doesn't just get to me. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna sit here, but I'm not shaking yet. Now let me try to sit in this hot, hot, hot pool. Oh, Bruno! Ah, Bruno looks into the steam coming. In the past two times, it was also steam, of course, but somehow this time I feel insanely hot. It is maximum allowable temperature for the human body, because if we raise the temperature of Artem's water by at least two degrees, it will become very dangerous for the participant. Okay, guys, relax in your pools. I'll be back in half an hour, and we'll spin the wheel of fortune. Uh, 
I still don't understand where he went. To be honest, my tactic is simple. I'm just gonna sit here inside of the pool and I'm ready to win. I'm already filming the third part, you guys, and I think I have the most experience of how to sit in a cold pool and how to sit in a hot one. Previously, of course, I haven't such a hot pool, but I intend to pass all the tests and win this game for you guys, just so that you will like this video and subscribe to the channel right now. We are trying just so hard for you. Half an hour is already passed, so let's continue our challenge. Which one of you wants to go first? I want to be next to spin the wheel. The first spin of the wheel goes specifically for Sapphic 1234. Sapphic 1234 will get a wind blower. For a whole minute, I will blow in you with the stream of cold air from this cannon. I'm barely holding on here. Bruno, can you please blow on me a little? Well, not for a minute, but at least like 10 seconds even. It's very hard for me to be in this hot pool. I mean, it's incredibly hot this time, man. I can't believe it. Sorry, Archam, there is nothing I can help you with because the wind blower was picked by Sapphic. So the challenge goes to him. What's this can for? Even the air's icy already, and the water's icy too. Uh, okay, come on, I'm ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sapphic, if you dive back into the water now, then you will have to get up again, and the minute will start all over. So get out now. Man, I'm so cold. You won't even believe it. I didn't expect the cannon to be so chilling, guys. To be in the water is even warmer than being in front of that thing. Okay, I'm standing. Let's keep going. The <laughs> minute's passed. No, it hasn't. Still 10 seconds left. Guys, I don't know. <sighs> That's it. Time's up. Oh, guys, my underwear are like ice now. It's crazy. Oh. Even though the water is cold too, it's still much better in here. That thing's extremely cold. I saw how Bruno was shooting right at Sophic. One, two, three, four. I even got a little bit of that steam. Despite the fact that I am insanely hot in this pool. But when you're sitting wet in a cold pool and a strong wind blows right in your face, this is crazy and pleasant. So I'm really surprised that Sophic, though with certain difficulties, passed the first test given by the Wheel of Fortune, you guys. Sophic, how are you doing over there? You holding on? Yeah, it seems back to normal with me now. And how are you over there? Some endless hot spring you got over there. To be honest, I can't imagine where did he manage to get such hot water, man. I would gladly sit in your pool right now, Sophic, you know? Yeah, so I'm same here. Well, it's like he's got some sort of boiler room working over there. In fact, I think Bruno is a more forgiving host. He's going to be pulling such cruel tricks on us, like, you know, too hot or too cold and stuff like that. So now there will be the second round where I will spin the Wheel of Fate, but this time for Artem Arishnip. Are you ready for what's coming? Well, how long have I been doing these videos, man? I just want some relief already. This pool is way too hot for me. I can't handle it. And if you throw some boilers again here again, I will not survive, man. I won't. Artem, nothing depends on me here. I only spin the Wheel of Fortune and bring what falls out there. Whoa. And what Artem gets... Ice bucket challenge for Arto. No way, Bruno. Seriously. Guys, I can't believe that for the first time in the history of this show, something really cold goes for the one who sits in a hot pool. Bruno, thank you so much. How did he get this lucky? Guys, I used to spin this wheel. It can't be rigged. I don't know how it works. Why are is so lucky and I'm not? Artyom, how? What good have you done for this world that you're so lucky? I mean, come on, just admit it. You do not deserve this ice. The Sovic, damn it, why isn't this fair? Well, you saw yourself that the ice was packed by the Wheel of Fortune, and I understand that it's hard for you, but that's no reason to slander me, you know? Guys, please, don't fight. It's just a challenge, come on. Well, Artyom got the ice. Maybe you'll get the ice next time, so don't worry, Sovic. No, Bruno, I don't want the ice. But anywhere, you're right in this case. A friendship is a friendship. Forgive me, Artyom. It's just so cold in here, I can't even think straight. Okay, Sapphic, it's all right. I understand you. And I hope that the next time the Wheel of Fortune is rolled for you, you will also get some kind of relief, man. And Bruno will throw a boiler in there for you or put a heater close by to you. Yeah. Well, I've prepared a full bucket of coldest ice. All of it will be powered right on Artyom's head. 
Wow, Bruno, listen, thanks. Now, you guys, this bucket of ice will not hurt me at all because I still have steam here. And to be honest, you guys, it's even a little difficult for me to talk because I'm just so soft and relaxed. It's even hard to formulate thoughts. And I can do something wrong right now. So this ice bucket will help me so much. Guys, I'm scared to even look at this ice. It's going to help our team, but not me. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh, my. Is that what you hit with me in the head? In fact, it, in fact, it really cheered up greatly, you guys. So good. Dang, guys. There's even more steam coming from this ice than there was before. Perhaps the water has cooled down a little for now, but the temperature will be restored in just a few minutes. So Artyom indeed is lucky, but not for long. Damn, Bruno. I forgot about always having this hot air coming in from here. The water has cooled, but it will soon become as hot again. You man, I can't do this. That's right, because you have a hot pool, and we cannot deviate from the main concept, right? And by the way, it seems to me that Sapphic hasn't had liquid nitrogen in the pool for a long time. I thought that it was just added in the beginning. I mean, there's on the wheel. Why add more for no reason? It doesn't come from the wheel, but it also comes from here. So now we will add just one glass of nitrogen here, but it will cool the pool by two degrees. Look, it's some kind of magic. Here goes some nitrogen for you. Oh, 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 the smoke is cold. Oh, man. Savik, where are you hiding? I'm here in the fog. Oh, whew. it's hard to breathe in here. In general, everything is fair. Here, I have a hose right here with hot water, but the, it is not connected to Savik's pool, so it'll always be cool with liquid nitrogen. Savik, what are you doing over there, bro? Artyom, thanks for asking, but I don't know how I'm going to stay in here any longer. The water's so icy, it's like I'm in an ice hole in a frozen lake. Ah, uh, please. Some spirit from above. Just give me something hot. I really want something hot. William Bruno, make it so. Please, 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 please make it so. And exclusively for Sapphic, I went down from the pedestal to spin the Wheel of Fortune and help him with something hot. So let's try. And I present to you this yellow sector with frosty clothes. This means that Sapphic will need to put on clothes that have been stored in the freezer for two days, literally. What? I was so close to the hot mess. Why am I getting all this? Okay, let's go. So frosty clothes. Let's go get it. Now we open our freezer. Look. It's like a stone. Sapphic, grab your uh, pants. Oh, thank you. What's, what's with this icy step? It's like stone. How am I supposed to put it on? Just try somehow. I don't know. Blow <laughs> hot air on it. And it smells like a refrigerator. I need to defrost this thing somehow. Sophie, what the hell are you doing? It's not fair. How can I do it in a cold pool, huh? And you have this hot pool, so it should definitely defrost over there, right? Well, you're not supposed to defrost them at all. This is the essence of the challenge, so that you're in ice clothes in an ice pool. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know, all right? I'm already frozen to the core over here. So, have they thought already? Hey, guys, let's play fair, all right? Artyom, give Sapphic back his fans. Yes, Bruno is right. It's not fair, so come on, Sapphic. Take it back. Oh, thanks, Artyom. At least they're warm now. Perfect. <laughs> hey, Sapphic, don't you think there is a slightly dishonest action going on right now? We kind of agreed on ice clothes. Now, you just have wet but warm clothes. Nah, William Bruno, you're right. Well, it's just that I... I'm very cold right now. Very cold. I don't know how else to endure it. There was no other thought just to put myself in the hot water. I don't know. Well, maybe you could just freeze it again. But the most important thing is that we do not have any quarrels. Because it doesn't matter. Money or no money. Victory or defeat. The main thing is that we all remain best friends ever. And if you want to become our friend, you can join our family by clicking on this red subscribe button under the video. So that there are even more good people out there. Here is the current number of Artyom subscribers. It is the statistics of cool guys. That's exactly how many people are, you know, the coolest on this planet. <laughs> well, you can join them too. Sorry, I got carried away a little. Surely I won't throw these clothes into the freezer now, but I have another plan. <laughs> Give me your clothes. Take it, William Bruno. Here, freeze it well. That's why we have liquid nitrogen for. 
Now we'll freeze his clothes again. Check this out. No way! Do you see what Bruno's doing over there? Well, these clothes were just wet, lying in the freezer. Now they are also doused with liquid nitrogen. There was just so much cold steam there. You know, I'm feeling a touch of coolness right over here in this pool. Safik, you should have played honestly right away so that it wouldn't have gotten twice as bad. Guys, I had no idea this would happen. Well, it'll be a very important lesson for me. Well, guys, I really did a wrong thing. Well... What to do now? Nothing left but to accept my punishment. <laughs> well, Safik's costume is good as new. <laughs> You'll need to put it on now Whoa, somehow. Oh, it's frozen twice as much as it was before. Nah, dang it. Wow, my legs are shaking badly. Oh, the keys are slipping quickly. Oh, guys, it doesn't look as scary as it actually feels. Hand me the t-shirt. I'm ready. Three, two. Oh, oh. Okay, hand me the shirt. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 it's so cold. Safik is a great guy because despite the fact that he tried to dodge the challenge, after all, he accepted it and completed everything decently. What do you think, Artyom? Safik did the right thing or not? Well, Bruno, what did Safik did at first doesn't matter at all. I think the main thing here is how he ended up making up for it. When he put on these clothes doused with nitrogen, I clearly saw guys how insanely cold he felt, you guys. He maybe had even had something cramp up, I guess. Savik, are you alright? Oh, my whole side is cramped up. Can you imagine the whole left side of my body? Bruno, let me spin the wheel of fortune now. Otherwise, Savik will be done over there. He really needs to rest, man. Come on, just let me do it. I can't allow you to spin the wheel of fortune yourself, but surely I'll spin it just for you. What would you like to get? Oh, guys, I see that there was still some liquid nitrogen, ice, and 50 kilograms of dry ice left. I would really like some of that. Well, I hope you get dry ice after all. And maybe it will help you win. But nevertheless, only the Wheel of Fortune can decide it. Damn. Well, until now, you've been doing great, like for real. You managed well so far, but that's just crazy. Bruno, why do you have such a face? What does that mask mean? Guys, this looks really scary. Artyom, this mask means that you will need to rub this hot sauce in your face and put on this frying, flaming, burning, volcanic mask. Bruno, are you out of your mind? No way! Guys, I was just stretching right there, you guys. Just gymnastics. I powered myself some hot pepper and my head is already burning. I will rub it in your face now. Uh, 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 okay, Bob Bruno, that's enough. Now you need to put on this mask. But it's a red pepper mask. And that's why we go for these challenges, so that you have the maximum temperature here along with the hot gags. What's important here is that Artyom, you see, is sitting with his full body dipped inside the pool, and only his head remains in the air, and now he's going to be completely warm. Oh, oh, well, it seems fine. So far, it seems to be okay, to be honest. Everything seems to be fine. Artyom, just wait two minutes, then the effect kicks in. I don't know what's going to happen after he takes off this mask. I mean, he says he seems okay for now, but it must be hot for a reason, right? I've been waiting for a minute and a half. Another 30 seconds and I'll be able to take this off. So far, I'm feeling just a little uncomfortable. Actually, I don't even know. I can't imagine why these masks even exist, but this is such an unpleasant thing. I surely don't want to be at Artem's place now. Don't take it off. Hold on. Uh, Bruno, I can't. It burns so hard. Uh, I'm taking it off. Now I'm standing here with an ice pack in my hands and I'm extremely glad that everything has just happened is behind us. Most likely YouTube won't accept this because as for me, it hurts to even look at Artyom, you know, after what the mask did to his face. We actually had to stop filming for a few hours for the swelling and redness on his face to go down a bit. But I don't know, if you still want to watch these shots, see what actually happened to Artyom and his face, you can find it on Instagram via the link in the description. It's just that YouTube won't let it through. But Instagram Instagram is more loyal to such things, so welcome to Instagram if you're interested. Okay, I suggest not to wait any longer and go straight to the next challenge. William Bruno, come on, give us your twisted spin. Let's start spinning here, hoping that you'll actually get the fire. Oh! My congratulations, Sathic! You're getting a heater! Oh, finally! Oh, it came! 
faster! Connect the heater already! You guys, thank God my face stopped hurting right now. And as for you, Sophic, I'm really glad that you finally got something good, buddy. Over here, the temperature can rise up to 120 degrees Celsius. So it's really hot. I'm not even sure if Sophic was actually in luck because the device is quite serious. Let's plug it in. Oh, you will need to be near it for a whole hour. Oh, it's getting so nice in here. William Bruno, how long do I get this heater for? Well, for an hour, just as I told you, I have one hour. For how long? I can't hear you. Something's wrong with his hearing? All because of this cold pool, I guess? An hour, Sapphic, for one hour. Well, I'm leaving you the heater. Ah, uh, I get it. It's great that this heater will stay with me for a half an hour. I'll warm up nicely. Of course, it'd be better to have it for an hour, but it's okay. Sophic, are you okay over there? You shouldn't have said that about me, Artyom. This is how a friendship is being tested. It's been an hour already. The boys are still in their pools, and it's time to turn off Sapphic's heater. Well, that's it, Sapphic. Now endure it on your own. <laughs> this half an hour, guys, was actually the best time of my entire life. Since Sapphic got a heater, then maybe I'll get something cool too, Bruno, right? Let me spin the wheel. It's my turn, I think. I don't mind at all, so let me spin the wheel for you. <laughs> This, guys, is a mustard blaster. Hey, Bruno, what is a mustard plaster? Blaster? Is that for me? Well, I know what mustard plaster is, but it's usually my mom who cooks it, you know? Well, it can also be put in socks so you don't get sick. So I'm holding the mustard plaster in my hands, and I will stick it on Artyom's chest right now. Normally, it is applied when a person is sick in order to warm him up, but now we'll be warming up Artyom for no reason. Although, not entirely without a reason, but for one grand, huh? Now, we gotta moisture it first. What are you doing, Bruno? Preparing a procedure. What procedure? Some mustard fell out of there. Yeah, there's mustard in those bags. Come on, Artyom, get your chest ready. What? Should it burn like that? Well, it will heat you up, like, in general. It's so hot in here already. Can we douse them with nitrogen? Well, if you get nitrogen next time, then no problem. You must sit like that for 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Just like that? Yeah. Like some idiot? Well, it turns out so. Dang, if only we could trade places now, Artyom. It would be so nice and cozy for the both of us. Ah, you guys, this hurts so bad, I can't. Artyom, just a little time left. But you gotta be patient, otherwise you will just lose. Well, I'm trying. They're on me. But you just don't show it on video, okay? You don't need to, you don't Why need to. Why is that? There's no need to show it. Do you know, what are you doing? I don't want this to be ashamed of. I already looked. Okay, Artyom, let's get it off already. But it's Bruno, just no. You don't need to. No, come no, on. It's Bruno, just get it off. Let's do it. I told you, it's not. Well, let's just get them off. Well, I told you, it's not. Damn, we need to wash this off quickly. Artem, come on. That's it, Bruno. That's it. That's enough. Come on. Cut it. Didn't I keep those mustard plasters on? I sure did. I did. Show our subscribers what happened. I'm not going to show any of them my shame. Well, Artem, I wouldn't show such stuff myself anyway. But I think now is just the right time to spin the Wheel of Fortune for Sapphic. Come on, spin the Wheel of Fortune. Just hurry. I'm not sure I can take this for very much longer. A quick spin just for you, Sapphic. <sighs> Just like that. Sapphic, you're getting ice under your clothes, which you will need to hold for five minutes. No, no, anything with that. Are you serious? I'm so done now. Ooh. All right, Sapphic, this ice is especially for oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow, Bruno was pouring it generously on him. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, have five minutes passed yet? No, it's been like just 15 uh, seconds. Uh, Hold up, my mom's calling. Wait a sec. Yeah? Guys, my mom didn't actually call me. I just turned on the ringer. And I did that just to see how they would act if there was no one to watch them. Uh, 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 uh. Damn, Sapphic goes to Artem's pool. Oh, oh, Sapphic, what are you uh, doing? It's unfair. Uh, it's really unfair. I can't. There's a ton of ice in here. And Artem's pool is so good and pleasant now. Uh, I even have a hoarse voice now. Guys, I got it from this thing. Oh, But Sapphic, it's also one dishonest. Why are you swearing at me now? Bruno is gone. But that doesn't mean you have to deceive him and play an unfair game. Just think of yourself. When you were our inspector, you always said that the main thing is fair play. Everything needs to be fair, all right? Yeah, Artyom, I agree with you. No. Oh. At first, 
first it was very hard, though now it's much easier. But it still burns and burns and burns. It's so cold. It's crazy. Just insane. Totally insane. Well, this, this is certainly not a decent reason to break the rules and spoil our friendship with both Bruno and Artyom. So you guys, listen to me. Don't ever act like I did. I'm sorry. I'm truly ashamed of this move. The main thing is that you understand this topic, so don't worry. Everything will be really fine. We can just break the rules anymore, okay? By the way, you have a big clock hanging over there. Five minutes have already passed, and you can throw out the ice. Oh, oh, it's time! Oh, oh, it burned me very badly. I don't know how I'm going to manage to heal all this redness later. I won't even say anything to Safik because it really was a hard test. And even though he entered Artem's pool for a minute, he still got burned by his eyes so much that this minute in the hot pool didn't change anything at all. Okay, five minutes passed, so how's the situation here? Yeah, we're fine, Bruno. I was waiting for you so desperately, and you came back in six minutes. Thank goodness. Our children told me when five minutes had passed. Well, I couldn't stand just holding this ice anyway, so I kept it. Come on, guys, I trust you. It's just that my mom called, so I couldn't ignore it, right? And now, let's spin the Wheel of Fortune one more time. Yeah, no problem, Bruno. Let's spin it. Yeah, all right, spinning it for our children. And Artem gets a fire dinner. And some hot food again? Hey, I thought an actual fire would be thrown in this pool. I present to your attention the most delicious breaded chicken with the hottest Tabasco sauce. Oh, this smells super tasty. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. There you go, Artem. Oh, man, no way. Oh, well, guys, this sauce is not that spicy. And just look at how awesome these wings are. Really good. That lady from the store said it was the spiciest thing in the world. Oh, it looks so tasty. Bro, thank you so much. Although, the sauce is really spicy. But Jam, I haven't eaten anything for such a long time. I'm glad to have it even in this really hot pool, man. So it's good. How about spinning the Wheel of Fortune for Sapphic? What do you think about it, Sapphic? Come on, Bruno. Spin it properly this time. All right. Let's get right into it. It's a barrel of nitrogen. When you pour just one glass of nitrogen in there, the water was already so damn cold. Now all the nitrogen that we have will be powered into Sapphic's pool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, oh, no. I'm going to turn into ice inside of here. Okay, guys, you ready? Here it goes. Whoa, here it goes, here it goes. Ah, 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 it's, it's freezing. No, no, no. Okay, oh, we still have a lot. Keep our all the nitrogen we have shall go there. Whoa, the pool now covers with ice, I guess. Whoa, oh, ah, ah, freezing, Whoa. freezing. Ah. Oh, it's so cold. Ah. Oh man, Sapphic, Sapphic. 